Hi everyone, it is Philip here, and today I'm going to be talking about the middle two movements of Olivier Messiaen's La Sanchon for organ. The piece was written in May 28, 1935, when Messiaen was the organist for La Trinité in Paris. The piece was originally written for orchestra, but it was later transcribed for the organ in celebration of the La Trinité's newly restored Cavalli Call organ. However, the organ version has a completely different third movement, and it's called Transports de Joy. The piece is called Ascension, as Messiaen was trying to convey his gratitude towards the Catholic celebration of the Feast of the Ascension, which is a Catholic celebration commemorating Christ's ascension into heaven, which happened 40 days after his resurrection. The second movement is called Alleluia Serenes d'une âme qui désire le ciel, which translates to the serene alleluias of a soul longing for heaven. This movement is in a rondo form, with the opening statement being a refrain, and that is followed by a verse. The opening statement, as described by John Gillock, who happened to be a student of Messiaen's, suggests that the organist should play this statement in a manner that sounds supple and expressive, and not like a rhythmic exercise. It must sound like a solo instrument of an orchestra that is beguiling us to follow it into a peaceful, serene world. The first verse occurs after the opening statement is played. Here, Messiaen responds to the opening statement in an impressionistic manner to continue the peaceful, serene atmosphere. Immediately after this, the first refrain returns now in a developed format. The right hand is playing triplet figures to imitate the sound of a faraway orchestra. It should continue the impressionistic feeling that Messiaen wants, like so. Immediately following the statement is a developed version of the verse. To continue this impressionistic feeling of a soul wanting to go to this heavenly realm, Messiaen elongates the theme by adding trills in the right hand. John Gillock effectively describes this section as he says that this section builds with an incredible inner passion intensity, suddenly returning to the very beginning of the tempo of the piece, fragile and filled with longing. The final refrain is what concludes the movement. The melody, which is the opening statement, is now played in the pedals. The manuals are doing two different things. 
The left hand is playing trilled chords and the right hand is playing a sextuplet figures. These combinations are what Messian uses to finally bring the listener to a different realm. The piece concludes with a quiet, distant sounding F major triad. Now I'm going to be discussing the third movement of La Saint-Chance, Transports de Joy d'une armée devant la gloire du Christ qui est la sienne, which translates to Ecstasies of a Soul Before the Glory of Christ, which in its own glory. This movement is a toccata-like fanfare that is written in three different sections. I wanted to remind you that this is the movement that is completely different than the orchestral version. Messian used biblical scripture as a source of inspiration for this movement. One from Colossians 1, verse 12, and Ephesians 2, verse 6, which says, Give thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. He raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This movement is filled with excitement. The first section opens as a fanfare-like toccata that cadences to an F-sharp major chord. F sharp major seems to be the dominant key signature used in this movement, which Messian used as a symbol of love. The statement is continued by detached chords to continue the exciting character. <laughs> The first and second sections are united by a three-statement cadenza, each of which grow in intensity. The excitement continues in section two, as we have the restatement of the opening theme, which is the fanfare-like toccata, now centered around A major. We even have the detached chords to continue the excitement. <laughs> Like the transition between sections one and two, we also have another cadenza that is stated three times between sections two and three, except this time it is now played in chords that are overlapping and very difficult to play. <laughs> Now comes the exciting part of the piece, section three. Here is a culmination of all the elements that we heard earlier, like the fanfare-like toccata and the recitative melody now played in the pedals, except now it is put together and played in counterpoint. <laughs> Thank you.
The movement concludes with an exciting cadenza, similar to what we've heard in the other two, except this time it is played twice as fast. The ultimate ending of the piece are three distinct triads that are played in contrary motion, with the last one being an F-sharp major triad. John Gillock effectively describes this part of the piece by saying, as the final chords are released, we are left with the breathlessness of overflowing joy. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of the middle two movements of Messian's La Senchon for organ. Thank you so much for watching.